I am really excited for Black Ops Cold War Zombies. I think it's gonna be so good, and if you've seen the trailer for it, then you... I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm just really excited for it because it's just so good looking. It's, it, it looks so clean and just like, it, like how Noct is. It's just, I just think it's beautiful and it's, I'm just so excited for it. What I'm going to be looking at, which I've already seen this through Mr. T Lexify, but I've just, but I've just always wanted to talk about uh, Call of Duty Zombies or just play it, but I don't want to play some Black Ops 2 or anything like that, so we gotta wait. And since I don't have Black Ops 3 for a PC, I cannot play the custom maps for that, which would be cool. But yeah, these are leaks, so yeah, uh, it's by it's Charlie Intel. I, I I don't think they're gonna be bad at all, but I don't know. But yeah, it's just all the achievements and just like gonna be talking while I'm doing this so if you don't like leaks then bye bye it shows all the achievements for the whole game but I'm only wanting to look at the zombies achievements I've already seen these but I just I just want to look at them again because I want to talk about it and also it's just super interesting I love that we're gonna be forging the pack a punch machine it's gonna be so good because I liked that part of uh, Transit, but I did not like going into Pack-a-Punch, I just like, I loved making it because it's like, ooh, we gotta build it, but then after that you can put your put your weapon in, but yeah, I just think that this is gonna be 10,000 times better than Transit, so yeah, the die machine, it's not the D machine, oh, it, I mean, technically it is, but it's the die machine d machine <laughs> i i saw the mr t lexify uh, point that out and i <laughs> i just think it's so stupid and funny uh is this gonna be called the dime are people going to say dime or is it are they gonna say die m i don't know what people are gonna say but the this gun looks so good it looks like the thunder gun and jet gun mixed together not the thunder gun it looks like the thunder gun and the jet gun mashed together into one thing. It's just because of just how it looks. It looks like it's combining both of them because he has a handle that he holds, and so it looks like the jet gun from that, where it also shoots kind of similar to the thunder gun, but obviously not since it's a plasma ball, whatever it was, it's gonna do. Um, but yeah, I'm. It looks so good. I'm gonna say that to everything in this, it looks so good because it looks so good. Close the riff. I think this might be for the Easter egg. I doubt this would be for gameplay. Uh, and I don't see any, any other use than for it to be for the Easter egg. So, yeah. I'm gonna be closing a riff for the Easter egg. Pretty epic. Kill two. Kill the two split me megatons. What are those again? I don't remember what they would look like in this image. It looks like zombies. So I don't know. I don't remember. I'm going to remember when I play it, but yeah. Upgrade a skill. What? You can upgrade skills? Is that upgrade? Are they saying... Oh, in the next one it says perk skills. So it's just talking about perk upgrading. Yeah. That is going to be pretty cool because um, I remember them saying, uh, uh, "Is it either? It's either in here or it's uh, uh, somewhere else." That somebody was talking about how there's no double tap because of the the different weapon variants. Because um, there's going to be like common, uncommon, uh, epic, rare stuff like that, and so. There's like no use for a double tap, so they got rid of it because you'd you would be able to upgrade your weapons to make it to where a weapon is so much stronger. Like, I think what they were saying is, do you want to trade in your revolver uh, for a SMG, something you're more comfortable with, but something that's uh, not as strong? Because the revolver is like, it was like at the the highest variant kind of thing, to where if you shot a zombie, it would die, but if it would, SMG would like take five to ten bullets or something. I don't know. 
I'm just making estimates or something like that. But double tap is basically just pointless. But you're going to be able to upgrade your perks. So for Jug, I think it would just like upgrade your health or regen time, health regen time, stuff like that. Uh, for quick revive, probably like how fast you get up or if you keep your perks after you upgrade it and after you get down. D machine kill on hundreds of enemies. I remember this one. This one I think is going to be like really easy. It's going to be another catwalk or something like that. Pretty epic. In this you're just going to be staying in the main area for Noct. You know like the f I think it's just going to be the spawn room for Noct that you're going to have to stay for 15 rounds. Um, crafted for I didn't remember it was 14. I I didn't remember this one being oh my gosh I did not remember this achievement at all 14 upgrades or not upgrades but buildables that's what are we gonna be building are we building perks probably shield pack a punch are we building a different wonder weapon that's different to the D machine or the die machine um, I don't remember I don't know I don't know what else we would uh, build do we cra do we build the build tables? I don't rem I don't know. I don't know what it would be. I'm super excited for this Dead Ops Arcade. I hope it's uh, not just the same thing as Black Ops, but if it is, cool because Dead Ops Arcade is really fun. It's gonna be epic. Survive the deep uh, or escape from the deep dark wild, which is probably an area or the whole thing for Dead Ops Arcade. Kill the monkey and save. Oh, save your dear friend. I don't. I haven't completed Dead Ops Arcade before. I think it's challenging. I really think it's challenging. So I don't know if I'll be playing Dead Ops Arcade that much. Obviously, obviously not as much as um, the normal maps. Uh, but Dead Ops Arcade is pretty fun. So it's cool to have it there. Is that gonna be the main area where the pack of punches, like the circle thing where the people got killed with the guy with the camera? I'm not sure, but that's another achievement for finding your destiny. I don't know. And then visit every corner of a deadly dungeon. Unless it's talking about Dead Ops Arcade still, then never mind the achievements. I'm so excited. I think there was like a different a leak for zombies uh, somewhere in here oh, yeah here I saw that the headline for this but I haven't checked it out but I'm gonna check it out because I'm curious about it Drogonog quick revive reduce the time it takes to regen to full health by 50% oh it does that has it always done that I don't know reduce the time it takes to revive an ally Ooh, that's why am I saying ooh to that? That that's always been there. What am I doing? Uh, what? <laughs> okay. In, in, increase the reload speed by 15%. Increase run and sprint speed. What? Run and sprint speed. Dutch out Daiquiri. This one is going to be useful for me since I play on controller. Controller. But it's gonna, it's useless for keyboard and mouse players. Uh, elemental pop. I'm curious about this one. Every bullet has a small chance to apply a random base ammo mod effect. When using this perk, every bullet fired has a slight chance of hitting your target with a random base ammo mod. It has been described as an incredibly useful tool for when your back's up against the wall. What's an ammo mod? Um, tier 1. Uh, oh, this is for elemental pop. Okay. So tier 1 equipment damage also has a small chance to apply okay that's what she's, we just read reduce ammo mod cooldowns by 21% when a, when a random ammo mod is applied it uses your current skill tier instead of the base uh maybe my brain is not working but I do not understand the last tier I think my brain's just not working but yeah I'm this is cool I I would have to see what this does. If ammo mod is like um, applies fire, 
poison. If that's what it's talking about, uh, then cool. But I don't, I don't know what else it would stand for since I'm pretty much blank on this. But that looks really cool. That's gonna be really useful. Yeah, I don't know. This is this is amazing. I just can't wait for Cold War. When's it coming out? It's coming out in a week. Wow. <laughs> Dude. Ah, oh, man. It felt like forever for when like people like Mr. T. Lexify, um, Noah J, Mr. Dalek, and like, and Milo, and those, just like, when those guys were uh, figuring out all the stuff they had for us uh, to figure out. I was basically, I was just a spectator. I wasn't actually, uh, I don't know. I wasn't really participating other than just spectating the whole entire thing, which was pretty cool. I got some rewards for spectating by entering my code, uh, but yeah, I was a spectator the whole time. But I'm so excited for this game. Multiplayer seems pretty good. So it, it, what I like about this, what I love about it, is that it's <laughs> it's fast paced like Call of Duty is supposed to be for multiplayer. Modern Warfare, it felt great to get a kill on that game, but it was just so slow. Just because of how big the maps were and the dark corners and all that, it made it so that people could camp easily and it just mounting and to get camos you have to camp with mounting or going no crouch you can do with the, while just going but i don't know i find it dumb what they for some things like the maps but yeah cold war seems really good i'm excited and yeah my name is dust you know i haven't said that name in a while you guys don't even know why I said that is because my my old uh, username for this and all that because my old alias for this was dust and I have not said that in forever I don't know how I said that I've been saying vexillion for forever now oh well, whatever my name is dust or vexillion and I will see you in the next video follow me on twitch